so he picked up another fare uh, a few mornings ago. It was a fellow who had been working the whole night in a space laboratory. And he was telling Peter that what he does at night is to make sure that the space debris and the satellites stay away from each other. Apparently, crashes are quite a problem in space. And his job is to make sure that if there's a satellite or any space debris that is in an area where it's going to damage something else, then they contact other space agencies and together they work out a pathway to divert these stations. So that we found that really interesting. They also monitor the fuel levels and temperature to keep the things safe from and not overheating. And they also have a plan, a safety plan for when the satellites reach the end of their life. He didn't expand on that, and so I was wondering what they actually plan to do. And if something goes wrong, like the recent satellite explosion, they jump into action and investigate what happened. They collect all the data and then figure out how to prevent it in the future. And then they share their findings with international space organizations throughout the world. They have regular meetings to keep each of them updated on the latest news and space threats. So that's really important. And how interesting for these people to be doing this. Thank goodness we've got these clever people keeping an eye on satellites and preventing accidents. They're the ones who keep our global communications and our weather forecasts and other important services running. They're the ones who work at night, also during the day. But anyway, this guy shift was at night. There's so much to know outside of our immediate world. Come and follow me because there's always another story to tell.